Well, hello again everyone. We're away on our travels once again. Uh, we're off on a trip up to Northumberland. Last night we stayed on a friend's drive here in Stamford and went out for a bit of a meal. So this morning we're heading off uh, just after we've had breakfast and we'll see you on the road. So a couple of weeks prior to this we had been at the Peterborough show and obviously we had put down our deposit on the new motorhome we intended buying so we knew that this would be our last trip away in our much loved Citroen C25 so it's a little bit poignant a little bit of sadness involved but we were determined to make the most of the time that remained for us with our old van and uh, yeah off we head up to Northumberland. Well, as the day wore on and we got further north, we ended up passing through some quite bad weather, some heavy rain, but uh, we pressed on, keen to get to our destination. So here is where we turn off the A1 onto the little road to the holy island of Lindisfarne itself and our campsite is down here somewhere. And there we go, off the road and onto this lovely little farm track up to the campsite. Let's get reversed onto the pitch. And here we are at the lovely Brockmill Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club CL. Right, let's get the van sorted out and the old awning up. Once everything was all set up, I decided to go for a bit of an early evening stroll to see what I could see. a bit of a wet evening but uh, at least it's not raining anymore it's just a tiny little bit of drizzle in the air well my aim is to walk down to the coast and have a bit of a look at the sea and perhaps uh, gauge the doability of the causeway to Lindisfarne on our e-bikes tomorrow Down by the sea there's plenty of signs of the old wartime defences and uh, rows of these concrete blocks which I guess would stop landing craft.
There's certainly a sort of desolate beauty about these wild, wide open coastal flats. Uh, you can see why the monks came here to get away from all worldly distractions. this though look a hole in the ground I wonder what's down there seem to leave rubbish in these though, wherever they are. Great view to outside though. And this one's got two separate underground rooms joined by a corridor of an overgrown view out of the other room though. Well that was a nice little diversion. On with the walk. I stood a while in silent thought as the sun began to set. There was such peace and calm there that I would be there yet if there wasn't a hole in my boot and my foot was getting wet. the van for a nice cup of tea before bed. Well, it's bank holiday Monday morning and it uh, looks like being an absolutely gorgeous day so we're planning on cycling over to Lindisfarne on the old e-bikes. But first, let's show you around this CL at Brockmill Farm. Nice short little site with hedges all round, so uh, it does cut down on the exposure to the wind. There's the uh, chemical waste disposal and your bins over there. And uh, behind them is a little toilet and shower block. And we're fortunately right by the drinking water tap, so we can fill up our tank direct with the hose which is handy. Nice clean toilets and showers but the showers are coin operated so you do need some 50 peas. Pretty nice sort of wet room arrangement. Anyhow off we go across the causeway to the island of Lindisfarne. Now, of course, you have to cross the causeway at the right time with the tides and tide tables are published on the internet and uh, posted in various places all around. It's a fantastic experience cycling across the causeway. I had to stop halfway and have a good look around and yeah, absolutely wonderful spot. Once on the island, we found this lovely cafe where 
I had a very welcome tea and a slice of cake. Then we went to have a bit of a look around the Priory Ruins. Uh, the ruins are in the care of English Heritage and there is a charge for access for non-members. You enter through a small museum and then you can wander around the ruins at your leisure. The church was closed while we were there as there was a service going on. But yeah, there's quite a lot here to look through. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed looking around at the old Priory ruins. Well, we're now going to have a walk up and see if we can get to the little observatory place on the cliffs. Yeah, it's chilled off a bit now. It was uh, really nice and sunny earlier, but the uh, clouds have come over and there's a bit of a chill in the air. You're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the observatory up there. The tide is indeed all the way in. No getting off the island at the moment. That little island down there is uh, the remains of a little chapel on there. What an absolutely splendid spot this is. Now we have a bit of a stroll down here. I think there's a little pier you can walk to the end of. Let's go and have a look. Now I reckon just down here is where all the fishermen hang out. Nikki said she spotted somewhere in the village earlier where we could have a crab sandwich. I quite fancy a crab sandwich, but uh, Let's have a look on this pier first. I reckon as well, we ought to try and go and have a look at the old castle over there. Yeah, that does look a very splendid castle, doesn't it? Right, let's walk back into the village and uh, see if we can get this crab sandwich. Oh, oh look, you, I'm in her photograph. <laughs> oh. What, what, what? Honey. I do like these sheds made of the uh, upturned boats. Yeah, look at that, look. You could uh, live in that, couldn't you? Well, we found the crab sandwich shack. An absolutely fantastic spot for lunch. Right, now we're off to find the castle. It's uh, quite a steep cobbly path up to the castle. Well, the castle is in the care of the National Trust and uh, there is a small charge for entry for non-members. We got in free with our membership. The castle has quite an interesting history and this is pretty well presented as you walk around. I won't spoil it for you, you're going to have to come and visit for yourself if you want to learn all about the castle, but uh, yeah, I very much enjoyed our visit. Well there you go, only a small castle really, but uh, well worth a visit and a look round. Uh, very picturesque spot. Go have a quick look at the walled garden. Well, we've ridden out to the sand dunes at the other end of the island that because was uh, yeah, it was quite exciting, wasn't it? Uh, it's like when skipping everywhere. <laughs> did a bit. Because <laughs> on the map it's showing some caves uh, in the rocks at the end here. So we thought we'd have a little look and see what we could see. We've not found the caves yet, but what an absolutely fantastic beach look. Ah, this must be where the caves are. Well, this is definitely the spot that the map shows the caves, uh, there's not really much sign of any. I wonder if they've all collapsed in. Quite a nice spot, but uh, yeah, no caves that I can see anyway. 
Oh well, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't, but it is a beautiful spot. Right, I think Nick is getting a little bit tired, so it's probably time to get on the bikes and head back towards the van. So what did you do? Oh, hello? I was only in a pickle. <laughs> Did. So, so what did you think to Lindisfarne, my love? It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I'd like to come back on a sunny day. Yeah, I reckon this sand dune area would be really nice on a sunny day. <laughs>